during multi-party democracy, 1960s, 1990s, and 2000s, the ratio is consistently lower and tends to be near one on average for both types of districts, implying little favoritism. Note that this pattern is within leadership. Next, we categorize districts into majority Kikuyu, Kalenjin, the two ethnic groups that produce presidents or other district category. With these three types of districts, we repeat the figure above to ensure that the pattern observed in figure 4a is not driven by a particular ethnic group. See figure 4b. The results are telling. Kikuyu districts receive road spending in line with their population share during the democratic years. Following the banning of opposition political parties in 1969, road spending concentrates in these districts and rises to twice their population share until the death of Kenyatta, 1978 after which we see a meteoric rise in Kalunjin district's allocation and at the same time a decline in Kikuyu district's allocation. Kalunjin districts continue to obtain more than their population share until the reintroduction of multi-party democracy 1992. After 1992, we see a diminished effect on co-ethnic districts, but a revival of the other districts. For the other districts, those that never had a co-ethnic president, we observe a U-shaped pattern in their allocation. Democracy seems to have a leveling influence on in ensuring that Kenyan districts receive roads resources roughly in line with their population share irrespective of their ethnic alignment with the president. The stark pattern in the road investments we observe in presidential co-ethnic districts as Kenya enters and exits autocracy is extremely difficult to reconcile with spending being driven by economic efficiency.